Well, it's actually not my real name, but I've taken it on. So now I okay, just call me Angela Ola. So we can say it's my real name. Yes. That's what you use. I use it officially, like everywhere. I'm Angela. Yes. I am 19 years old. I am an enthusiastic and, I guess, extremely ambitious girl who is in love with fashion but does maths in school. Yeah. <laughs> but basically, in general, in Nairobi. But we moved from here and there. But I can say my childhood inspired what I do. Because when I was 12, that's when I knew, you know what? Fashion is it. It's what I want to do. When I was around 12, and China Show had hit at that time, and that was the in thing, you know. That's eight years ago. Yeah, I think the Tyra show was, that's when it was starting up. So, after I watched an episode and there was a black girl who designed some long black gown and she got inspired by Tyra and she got on the show and I'm like, I can actually draw that. So, I drew my first sketch and from then, well, it's just been alright. I felt like I wanted more, yeah, because you see, you can be a fashion enthusiast and crazy about fashion, but you need to do something about it. That's when I decided, you know what, I'm going to come up with Ola, I'm going to do what I love, I'm going to design clothes, stitch, etc, etc. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy, but someone has to do it. So how you balance it? Uh, most of the times I'm in school from 8 to 5, yeah. the doctoral science, but immediately I'm done with class, fashion time is fashion time. It's time for me to sketch, you will not find me reading, come watch me. <laughs> so I've just learned to prioritize what I need to do yeah. and when I need to do it, yeah. and then in that way I'm able to jump in school and fashion. Guys think it's just about the glamour events, you know, having fun with it, but in the real sense, it's crazy hard work. And people, if you see me backstage at a show, think I'm crazy because I'd probably they'd be in my pajama pants and like a t shirt and running around and doing crazy things. But that's the best part. That's the best part about being a fashion designer. I'll change, obviously. I'll change as <laughs> I present myself. But before that, I find satisfaction yeah. in the running up and down, the, the stitching, yeah, so okay. yeah. is there a dress that's okay? Mm -hmm. I, I find the train that. One has to be the glitter and glory event yes. that I had in March. This year? Yes, March yeah. this year. It was both my birthday yeah. and an event. Uh, I was surprised at the turnout. I didn't expect that many Kenyans to show support. Yeah. And it was really nice. I appreciated all the people who came. And that's, that's one of my highlights. And the next has to be when I was selected for a show in Kampala. Sylvia Awori. I love Sylvia Awori so much. So when I got the invite, I went to play with her. She knows me! <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's just how it went. Those were my two highlights. Ooh, capital. Yeah, but I have supportive parents, so they don't support the whole go to Paris and study fashion. <laughs> they understand if they invest, they'll get back their money. And that, either way, you know, if they say no, I'll still go like, okay, I'm doing fashion. So, yeah. Either way, it has to work. Either way, it has to work. So, <clears throat> capital and getting your name out there. Yeah. You know, there are very many upcoming designers. And the industry is growing, 
So to be able to get someone call you and say, Hi, Ola, is it so long? Like, yeah, I'd like to order clothes from you. That's been tricky. Plus, dealing with Mitumba in the middle of like, very good shop toy. So, <laughs> so getting your stuff up there. Isn't yes. That? fashion scene in Kenya is growing. You know, you can walk on the streets of Nairobi and you're seeing a woman well dressed and you're like, she actually took time to put that together. So, yeah, it's really growing. Plus, the designers that came before us, such as Anne McCree, John Kabeke, have done so much to inspire other designers who are coming up. People have actually embraced my products. The first product that got me actually out there were Ola shorts. The normal booty shorts, yeah. but at the bottom uh, have an African lace print. Nice. I started doing that accidentally. Yeah. Like I laced the shorts accidentally because I was like, I have extra fabric. But people's reception was crazy. I put them on Facebook and went, like, hi, I want a pair, hi, I want a pair. I was like, oh, nice. So Kenyans are actually embracing my product. And I appreciate and I'd like to grow with that. Fawi so she's <laughs> she's Kenyan, half Kenyan, I think half Somali. Yeah, there's Fawi Soul, there's Bona Motiva from South Africa. Someone can dress. Yeah, so those are my two biggest fashion icons. It started because I thought there are so many children out there, they're orphans and stuff here, yeah? or like their moms left them. It was probably not the mother's wish to leave her child, but circumstances forced it to happen. And this child is innocent, yeah? So why should the child suffer? So that's, that's how the whole idea came up, and I felt like something I should do. So there are various children's homes that I support, the Good Samaritan Children's Home in Malaria. They are <laughs> they stole my spanadis, we got together with you guys. And you saw those kids. Yeah, yeah they're lovely. And innocent. It's a lot of beauty. Yeah. <laughs> Being around them is a wonderful feeling. Yes. So, for everyone who's going to see this video, my name is Angela Ola. Uh, the Kenyan fashion team is growing, and I'm just getting started. By getting started, I mean I have a lot in store for you. To support Kenyan products, especially the older brand. And let's see how this goes. I love fashion. And yeah, it's my dream. And yeah, it's kind of what I'm going to do.